Good morning. Um, so I had my chocolate rice and my donuts for chocolate lovers this morning. Now I went to sleep early last night compared to my normal stay up till the sun rises. I went to sleep about 2.30, 3 o'clock. So I'm up. So I get woke up this morning. I'm kind of like half awake. I was in the, you know, where you could hear and get ready to wake up. Well, I got this in the mail from my stepdad. I'm like, okay. Peter's 18 years old. He wants to adopt my daughter. The only real blood relative child I have left in their house that's about to graduate. Um, now being that in 2012 on her social security number she's already got three billion dollars. Uh, Ty Lee which is not the child that's in their house that's Tyree. She is an actor for um, that set of parents. The other set of Isadora and James have the blue-eyed child. they would had her since before I got out of the army. Um, so, technically, they're supposed to get that other money to so-called take care of my mama. Um, so that way she could be provided for. Um, and they can have job creations instead of everybody's running around like, oh, you know, what do we do? You know, this. They can schedule stuff besides their um, timeshare places where people can actually build something and have something and have some jobs. Um, especially for building and developing over here in the off on the side of innovation. So, um, Tyree is in the Bible. That's who they initially tattooed my arm and put her name on my arm because that's the one I have. Now, I told you before, my blue eyed child is Ty Lee. Um, and she is with the other set that I know of. Um, unless Sumler, for some odd reason, got her, which is Daryl or Darrell. And his address is on there. He's supposed to be in Florida. But Tyree says her dad lives in New York. So if Daryl lives in Florida, that's Ty Lee's dad, I guess is what they want to call it. And Darrell would live in New York, which would be Tyree's dad. Anyways, they're paid employees. Each of my children from... Deidre, Tali, and Isabella, those three have $3 billion a piece typed up for them uh, to be able to do what they want to do, provide for their family, and that's their extended. That's exactly why I wanted them to um, be able to expand and go with their dads, but I don't know what the hell is going on um, with the God's World thing with uh, either them or their extension. I'm thinking their extensions are having a fit because I don't have mine. So if they are and all that other stuff insightfully is going on, they're either gonna have to give me sets that look like mine or I'm going to have to be around mine for real. And also, uh, let's see. have that house built and um, keep some of them with me whether if they're the same age or a little bit younger I'm seeing things especially with uh, Isabella a lot of in the book of John with Isabella is just it's not hap happy times really not and uh, I know this isn't the best situation right here where I'm at right now in this particular place that I'm living in but yeah from what I've seen um, I haven't put my daughter through any of that in any phase um, me personally so whatever you all are doing that's mm -mm. that's not a requirement I'm not happy with that and that needs to stop 
um, anything else insightfully that I did not see? I really didn't see too much on Tyree or Ty Lee. Um, now for Deidre, I did see something a little bit different. Now I know that there were pictures of Deidre, her high cheekbones, um, bigger cheeks. She looked more like Luke than Ricky. Um, then there's a girl named Kiki that lived in Chicago, Illinois, that my two Linda knew, that um, looks like her. Although her personality, bleh, personality, her demeanor is not the same. And her voice didn't sound exactly the same either. But they kind of look the same. Um, maybe we'll be able to get them all together and have them dance, whatever, or something sit down and plan something um, like a talent show art gallery if they want to build one what would the design look like who would they invite um, local artists just kind of help somebody else's pockets when they know that they're hurting too um, to be able to take care of themselves and help themselves and their families and it doesn't matter because they can switch it up every week or every month or whatever rotate pictures out purchase pictures and then figure out where they want to put them or artwork ceramics crafts things like that um, weldings doesn't matter um, or even tell ask hire some people to design that that's what I need for them to do now I know um, Deidre was thinking about going to college I think it was Le, Le Cordon Bleu was trying to or wants her to go there um, well I apologize she didn't make the webinar I forgot about that um, because you all it, it, <coughs> my <coughs> it was a <coughs> it was a postcard that was mailed out um, there was two postcards that were mailed out <coughs> to me from Le Cordon Bleu um, not with my name or address well the address but not the name it had Deidre somewhere on there um so I'm going to have to say I don't know who put that information on there but she does not live at this address yes I am her mother um so I did let them know that via text message <laughs> so um I didn't give them her address though. Um, she's 18, so she's about to graduate this year, and I don't know what she's gonna do. If she wants to go to school or come up with some type of company to help those, <laughs> oh my goodness, help those people that are going to school to have a job to look forward to when they get out. Alrighty. Because in these days now, retirement is not looking all that great for the retirement plan. So they um, have to find another way to make some money. And with that being said, look at me. They say I don't have a job, but yet I typed up a $75 billion annual budget that became your $10 trillion budget. And I am what? Still not really getting paid any of my money. But I'm a good darn worker, huh? <laughs> yeah. So, um, I guess I'm going to have to talk to Dawn. I think I'm going to go over there and talk to her. Dawn Logston. Because uh, I guess we're going to have to get a log of employees. And I think that would be kind of neat like the best venture for Don. I don't know if I should speak to Nick Pearl though about it. I don't know. I gotta think about that. Yeah, I think I'm gonna have to speak to both of them. Cause uh yeah, around uh in Kentucky, like people put it this way. Um, attorneys were like falling apart and fighting and stuff like that. Um because Mr. Scruff's Ninja Tuna just came out and just started kicking people's butt. Let me 
so um yeah that's what's been going on <laughs> It's so bad. It's like the effects of what probably happened to like 2007 is 2013. So that's like six years. <laughs> Mr. Scrub knows he was wrong for putting that <laughs> software on the computer. <laughs> that's all I can say. It's because, um, yeah, I'm not the. Um, home wrecker they say I am um, not me personally but uh, <laughs> I didn't do it. <laughs> so it's not my fault um, there you go just um, hmm how do I say that Watch out for what's going on. Um, besides that, usually within like the first three days, you will what? Notice if Ninja Tuna is coming out. <laughs> and uh, probably by like two weeks, if you ain't noticed, <laughs> just from um, like a two to ten feet radius. <laughs> He said, um, hold on a minute. And I think that, um, yeah, I think that when, uh, the Popeye guy, woo, blow me down, he, um, I think he was more like a, once he passed by, that lingered like Pepper Le Pew just. <laughs> 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 I think that was like I don't know how you would call that a radius that's like um when the um when the bug spray guy truck for the community comes around and sprays and you hear them before it gets there <laughs> because you hear the spray coming out and then um you see it come out and then it just kind of like travels through the air well you couldn't see that really travel through the air but you knew it was there you knew it was there and it was like <laughs> it's like what just hit me you thought you'd be in um I think that was worse than one of those, um, what do you call them? Fresh markets. Um, like the natural sea markets or something like that. Oh, what did they call those darn outdoor markets where you can go? Farmer's markets. And they had the fresh seafood and stuff like that. I'd rather been standing at a farmer's market ordering shrimp, um, scallops, fish, whiting, um, catfish, crabs. That was bad. Ninja Tune has been kicking butt in the Hardin County area. I don't know what's going on and I'm pretty sure it probably spread. Alright, so there you go. Whew. No. Stay still. Let's get the jobs. And y'all got to stop being so mean. Stop making war in love. Y'all got really, 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 really bad. Bye.